Hi Leos, let's see what's coming up for you guys with this upcoming uh, Capricorn Moon. I'm going to be using the Sacred Rebels deck. It's pretty lengthy, but I love the messages that come through. It's very, I just love it. <laughs> so let's see, for Leo, what's coming up for Leo? What's the message for Leo? Nah, I didn't fall out. What's the message for Leo? Against the grain and free from judgment, free to love. Ooh, power of attraction. What are you attracting, Leo? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start reading the main one first. Power of attraction. Number 13. It says, there is so much wonder awaiting you. There are so many beautiful adventures and so much magic yet to be. Can you keep your heart open to what is coming towards you without surrendering your experience of this moment by becoming too future oriented? You see, there is magic in this moment too. There is something arising within you out of the depths of your being. In this process, there is a shift in environmental environment, both internal and external. A fertility is being stimulated. This is your time to play with that fertility, to conceive, create, and embark upon the process of transformation with an open heart and mind. You may not know where it is all going to lead. All you need to know is that it will be wonderful and exactly perfectly what is needed. Beyond that, allow the energy of fertile growth and abundance that now flows so naturally and richly within you and around you simply to be. You are a big soul, and with that often comes big dreams. You might worry that you want too much out of life. Perhaps you think that you are only capable of small dreams. If you have drawn the oracle of big, bold vision as well, then this part of the message is highlighted for you. This oracle is guiding you to remember that there are stages of creation. A house cannot be built without the flooring. No matter how beautiful the stained glass window you plan to install are, the walls need to be up first. Your big life dreams are a work in progress, just like you. If you have been working on healing something within you, starting a new creative project, or just taking on a new, a new job or relationship and feel that although you are getting some results, you are impatient for more, doubt that you can continue or ever find the zone or become proficient in the situation at hand, then this oracle comes as a reinforcement. You are doing well. That which is worthwhile takes time to build. Celebrate each success, even the small ones. You are creating something of worth. Be patient, keep going, and trust. This oracle comes with a special message. You have recently completed a cycle or a level of manifestation and are transitioning into the next level of experience. Like a big fish leaving the small pond and feeling like rather, like a rather small fish in a bigger pond, there will be some getting used to it time. Sorry, there will be some getting used to it time needed as you find your way. This will add to what you have already done and bring valuable expansion to your realization of your abilities, as well as many new relationships and opportunities to help you go further on your new journey. What you are in the process of creating will benefit from this stage of your process. Whether your creation is simply your sacred life path, a particular creative work, or an actual child, there is a positive and constructive energy that is unfolding for you now to boost this process and carry you further along the way. Do you dare to dream into believing your dream until it manifests? Even if naysayers challenge you? Of course you do, sacred rebel. This oracle brings you guidance. You are going to attract whatever is needed to complete your work in progress and bring it to fruition. Remain open to receive and trust in the unfolding of your life experiences. Do not turn away. All of the necessary elements are coming together. Allow this integration to occur so that you can manifest your dreams. Wow, Leo. You are manifesting something on a very powerful level. Good for you. Good for you. I don't even need to clarify that because that was like <laughs> everything. Like what could I possibly add to that? You're doing fantastic. Let's read uh, number four, Against the Grain. By the way, I do think it's interesting that we have four twice because one and three reduces to four. But still, <clears throat> I don't know if that's an important number to you. 44 might be. Number four against the grain you want birds to be able to fly underwater you want love to trump power you want humanity to relate to each other as equals and to recognize the sacredness in you and in the world around you you want to unleash the beauty that hides and even the ugliest of scenes or sentiments you want to make possible what others say cannot be you are a radical dreamer a sacred rebel and you bring the light of a more positive future to this world 
However, this can have its burdens. Deep within, you may feel that you don't really fit in with the rest of the world. Perhaps your sense of how things can be and how they really are is so different to the smaller minds or more fearful hearts of many others that you are rarely received for all that you offer. This might make you feel frustrated, thwarted, or lonely at times. The universe so loves you for your unusual take on things, for the quirkiness in you that dares to honor that which is different and renders the impossible possible. You must never, ever lose your unusual ways and become dry, serious, appropriate, and conventional, not even for appearance's sake, for you would lose your essence. You are here to show that life is about so much more than conventional success. This oracle comes with a special message for you. You are someone who lives and breathes in the depths of creative waters. You need to lose yourself to the flow of music, nature, dreams, imagination, and fantasy through art and literature, meditation, dance, and in sensual surrender to the sacred waters of the ocean, the river, the lake, or the bathtub. You must go against the grain. It is just your way. You are not one of the followers, but one of the agitators. However, yours is not a force of disrespectful chaos. You are a loving catalyst, and by simply being yourself, you constantly remind people that there is always another way. This oracle comes with the particular guidance that you are meant to be exactly as you are. You are meant to be the black sheep, the rainbow sheep, or even the wild wolf in the flock of sheep. The daring butterfly spirit calling to the caterpillars, that is you. The price you pay for the gift of individuality is that you must take care of it and guard it so that you are not doled down and conditioned into playing at being something you are not. If this has happened or is threatening to happen, this oracle brings you comfort. You will always dream of birds that fly underwater. You know that the true nature of your being can never be changed. At most, it could only be hidden for a time. Now is the time to accept who you are and allow your truths to be freely expressed. Don't worry about the effects of going against the grain. When we are who we are in truth, we attract the support, protection, and energy that we need to thrive. Your power comes from aligning your outward self with your inner truth, not with the general consensus. You will then find other dreamers, other wild butterflies, and atypically colored sheep to join you in conjuring better visions for our world. Very good. So, not only are you attracting what you want, you may also be doing things in a very unusual way. Uh, Maybe what you dream of seems impossible because, you know, birds flowing underwater might seem really out of this world, but it's just like trust. Trust what you are working on. Trust whatever creative process you're in, whatever creative flow you're in, and just keep going. Let's read uh, Free From Judgment, Free To Love. I love that one because it's very cancer energy, and we are in cancer season. It's very much about motherhood. So it says... Imagine a world so infused with bliss, love, and wonder that you naturally and always feel as safe as a nourished, cherished baby in the arms of of the Universal Mother. Life mothers us with kindness and sometimes when we need it to grow through challenge as well. Accepting this mothering in its gentle and fierce spaces can be difficult at times, yet there are those brave enough in spirit to go forth onto their life path with absolute trust in the Universal Mother. Some are even part of her plan to help mother others so that they too can surrender fear and live more freely. This oracle comes with a message for you. You are learning about mothering and being mothered. You might not do this in a typical way. It might be through bearing children, but it could also be through adopting children, raising children, or otherwise taking care of children and loving them as if they were your own. You might also be learning how to mother on a rather different scale. Working with groups, communities, causes, or purposes that need your devotion, your energy, your belief in their value, and your willingness to be the wild tigress or the supportive shoulder to lean upon in order to bring those worthwhile groups to life. You may also be an aspect of the universal mother on a spiritual level. Some people that do this are male, some are female, some have children and some do not. Some are healers and some work in seemingly more ordinary professions. They have a mothering aspect in common and they love and respect life. They believe in life, are moved by compassion, and are genuinely encouraging and respectful of people. Rather than taking perverse delight when someone stumbles, they want to help. They are ordinary people with an extraordinary natural tendency to nurture life around them. This oracle brings you confirmation that you are amongst the Universal Mother's special clan of nurturing spirits that help to honor life on this planet. You are also being asked to open up to receive more nurturing. You can do this for yourself. 
you can also choose to open up and allow others to nurture you. It might make you feel a little vulnerable at first, especially if you are not used to doing this, but you don't have to worry. You will get used to valuing yourself enough to know that needing love and affection from another is an opportunity not only for you to receive, but for someone else to give, which involves them being received too. If you are tired and have been taking care of everyone else, then take some time to shift the pattern and allow life to support you too. The Universal Mother helps the helpers so as they can keep helping. It works rather well, you see, for those that give so much to also receive abundantly. If you have been asking life for a solution to a specific difficulty you have been having, this oracle comes with a message that a solution is in gestation right now. The situation is already being sorted out and the resolution will come to fruition very soon. Hold tight and wait for the imminent birth of that resolution. This is also confirmation. If you are interested in working with children, the inner child, with art therapy for emotional healing of any sort, <clears throat> or any sort of uninhibited creative expression that helps dislodge social conditioning and open one up to more spontaneous feeling-based existence, then yes, go ahead and do it. The Universal Mother is supporting you and you cannot get a more powerful ally. This oracle also brings you a message about love. You may find that you are loving or soon will love in a very different way. You may worry about this love given that it defies what you have known or been taught about love. Perhaps you are becoming able to love another tremendously, even though you don't have much of a personal relationship with them. You might question if this love is real. It is real. It is just happening at a different level to the love and attachment you experience when you are involved in a personal relationship with someone. It is not more or less. It is just a different facet of love. It may be that you are opening up to love the, pl the planet and her creatures, including the animals, the ocean dwelling life, your own body, the trees, and so on more than before. You may feel passionately purposeful about giving your time and energy to causes that protect and nurture the earth and her creatures. You are affirmed in this love too. The Universal Mother is operating through you to nurture life. She will support you in your work so that you can continue to come from love and not become drained, depleted, or lost in despair or fear of futility. Instead, you will be energized and expanded by your dedicated service to life. Finally, this oracle has a message for those who may be feeling alone or lonely and in need of a greater nurturing from others. You are asked to stop, relax, and center and settle into your body to feel your connection with life itself. The air in your lungs is the same air that moves the trees. The water in your blood is the same water that fills the oceans and is moved by the phases of the moon. The flesh of your body is the same substance as the body of the earth itself. The heat in your digestive system is the same fire and heat as that from the sun. Feel this connection, then do something nice for another without an agenda. Make a donation, even <clears throat> just a small one. <clears throat> even just a small one. Smile, say a prayer, send out a good thought, or make a wish for another. That's it. You have connected to life again, and in doing so, life can connect with you. And so it shall. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, not only are you manifesting things on a very powerful level, and doing them maybe in an unusual way, but you're also learning a lot about love, about nurturing <clears throat> and nourishing others, yourself, projects. So I'm not sure why this message is particularly important for you right now, Leo, but whatever it is, just embrace it. Uh, I feel powerful shifts coming your way and it's things that you have been waiting for. So keep watering it, keep nurturing it, and be on the lookout for the, for the manifestations actually being pulled into the 3D. Okay? All right, Leo, that's what I've got for you. I hope, um, by the way, I'm doing the Maharashi Effect meditation on the full moon on the 13th. If you want to join, please make sure you DM me or... Um, comment in the video and I will make sure and add you to the whole process. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.